we're asked to find the antiderivative of each function. The antiderivative of f of theta is the family of functions whose derivative is f of theta. And we can express an antiderivative more formally by using an indefinite integral. The antiderivative of f of theta is equal to the indefinite integral of two secant squared theta plus five e to the power of theta plus three with respect to theta. And now we can determine the antiderivative using the antiderivative formula shown here on the right, or we can say we can evaluate the in-depth integral using the integral formulas on the right. The antiderivative of two secant squared theta with respect to theta is two tangent theta, and we include the plus c at the very end, and then plus the antiderivative of five e to the theta with respect to theta, which is five e to the theta, and then plus the antiderivative of three with respect to theta is three theta. And then we have plus c, the constant of integration. And we often identify the antiderivatives using capital letters. So in this case, we can say that big F of theta, the antiderivative is equal to two tan theta plus five e to the power of theta plus three theta plus c. Whenever we determine an antiderivative, we can always check our work by making sure, in this case, that the derivative of big F of theta is equal to the given function F of theta. So you may want to pause the video and check this. Next we have G of theta equals negative three secant squared theta plus five theta to the third minus seven. And again, we're asked to find the antiderivative, which again we can express as an indefinite integral. The antiderivative is equal to the indefinite integral of negative three cosecant squared theta plus five theta cubed minus seven with respect to theta. Again, using the integral formulas or antiderivative formulas here on the right, the antiderivative of negative three cosecant squared theta with respect to theta is equal to negative three times negative cotangent theta and then plus the antiderivative of five theta cubed with respect to theta is five times theta to the fourth divided by four, and then minus the antiderivative of seven with respect to theta is seven theta, and then we have plus c, again the constant of integration. Simplifying, we have three cotangent theta plus five fourths times theta to the fourth minus seven theta plus c, which again we can express here as big G of theta. Big G of theta, the antiderivative, again is three cotangent theta plus five fourths theta to the fourth minus seven theta plus c. And once again, if we went or two, we can take the time to check our answer by verifying that big G prime of theta equals little g of theta. I hope you found this helpful.